Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and it is the fifth day of Benzmas. Now, I know in the last video we were talking about maybe trying to pivot to do more of like a thriftmas kind of vlog for December, but uh, Kathy did make one more trip down to the bins and she found some pretty good stuff, stuff I'm excited about, <laughs> something that I wish I found at the bins. All right, so let's see what Kathy found on the fifth day of Benzmas. <laughs> me, 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 where do I start? I think let's start with the stuff we're keeping because we are keeping quite a bit of stuff, explain. right? I had already pulled the stuff out, but I was like, I'll just show you just to get an idea of like things you can find at the bins, even if it's not like for resale or whatever. Yeah. I'm trying to look for the receipt because yeah, this was the most I've spent so far. $83.18. That's including everything you're gonna see. Um, you did go alone this time. I did not come yeah, with you. I feel like the last, it was Saturday that I went. So like the last few times I went on Saturday, I feel like I said it was good too. Yeah. I don't know. So maybe Saturday's the day to go. Hmm. Anyways, it was busy though. The last couple Saturdays were not that busy. Um, but yeah, so they did linens was $1.96. So these are, I think the only linens I got were just two things I was keeping. Uh, just... It's just a towel. <laughs> it's a Target towel. I just love this color. And then this is, you. I think this is Urban Outfitters. I don't really own anything Urban Outfitters, but mm. it feels like a barefoot dream. It's like blanket and I have a couple of those and I love them. So I grabbed that as well for myself. I just need to wash those. So yeah, those two items total only cost me $1.96 because they only charge 49 cents a pound for linens. Okay. Um, and then dish, dishware. 79 cents a pound that came out to 11.85 of everything which is probably this pizza yeah. stone that we're keeping yeah so there's some weight there obviously it's yeah. stoneware but I it's did, brand it, new it was in a box and i just threw, threw the box because i didn't want to take the <laughs> weight but uh we didn't need the box yeah and we do have one it's just very used and, yeah. and kind of grody so we're like hey I'm let's get used to because yeah we like making these little homemade pizza yeah um although i don't think ours has the little rack so maybe we kind of won with that one too so i'm just trying to show you so dishware i'm assuming all these glass pieces i know that's not what we're getting for ourselves but right come back to this yeah just kind of giving you an idea i don't know if all bins like charge different per different kinds of stuff but mm -hmm. anyways yeah i normally avoid anything glassware because i don't like to ship it but I noticed uh, a bunch of stuff like bubble wrapped in there and like nobody was like opening it or looking at it. So I was like, let me just see what's in there. So the first thing I found was like this carafe. Is that how you say that? <laughs> carafe, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was really pretty. It has no markings on it at all. Right. Um, not a single brand, like nothing at all. So I Google lensed it and it was coming up as like a Corningware piece. Corningware, like, vintage. I like Corningware would say that on here somewhere. Yeah, maybe so it didn't know. in the old days. I don't know. It looks way it too looks, nice to be vintage it though. It is, yeah. It, it's like in perfect shape. Yeah. A couple of minor imperfections. But. So yeah, any other like glass gurus out there that <laughs> know? I mean, I saw a bunch of people listing it as like mid-century modern. Yeah. Um and there were sold in the 40 to $50 range. Yeah. Um, they look exactly like this. Like, yeah. no markings, same kind of look. this was bubble wrap separately, like in a different bin that I found a little bit later on. Oh, really? I, yeah, like they weren't even together. And I was like, oh, that reminded me of this. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know they were like a set <laughs> until I got home. Lucked out um, with that. But yeah, I was like, this has to be something, right? I don't know what I thought this was. I thought this was like something about a fondue. I don't even know what I thought this was. <laughs> so when I because she showed me <laughs> that the carafe and I was like, ooh, this looks cool. I want to look it up. Yeah. And so I'm seeing comps and I see the base. And is that and when I you said, oh, I you didn't know that. until that point? I think so. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I have that. <laughs> so that was cool. Uh, yeah, I was showing him this like I thought it was cool. But, yeah. Okay, so that was that. So it just, man, it you lucked out with that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think this alone still would have sold, but. Yeah. So I'm guessing it has some kind of, you put like a little tea light under it or something to keep your coffee warm. Yeah, maybe that's what I thought it was like a little candle. <laughs> I don't know. Um, then I just found a Starbucks San Diego mug. I need to try to, it looks like a piece of glue or something. Mm. Pick that off, but these don't go for as much as like the Colorado ones I've been selling do. Yeah. I think maybe like $10 plus shipping, which still at. Uh, 79 cents a pound. That's probably about 79 cents. These yeah, are under a dollar for sure. So a dollar into 10. I'm okay with that. And then these were also bubble wrapped. I'm assuming whoever donated these donated these. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I don't know much about glass, but 
I Google lens this and it came up as like some blue fairy. Like a fairy light or something. Yeah. And these were also in like the $40 range listed and sold. So yeah. And yeah. Then I didn't get a very clear Google lens of what this was. Like it wasn't coming up with anything exactly like. Like this one I found many of the exact same. This one I don't know what it is really, but this looks like a little lidded yeah, dish. I'm assuming kind of thing. it's the same brand or whatever which again there's no markings on here yeah. i don't know how people do glass and just know about <laughs> it like i know cat the nurse flipper does a ton of it and um becky vintage viking treasure yeah. does basically only glass so yep and oh gosh who's that oh crazy lamp lady crazy lamp lady like yeah that. like I, I don't know how you guys all learn this stuff but <laughs> i'm sure other people feel that way about me and shoes and, and yeah clothes, cl clothes i really don't think i could ever get into glassware too too much um, but yeah, and then as far as dish, I think this was considered dishes as well. It's a solid master pot. It's in pretty rough shape. The handles are kind of burnt. Um, Old looking. Yeah, but the inner is decent and the bottom's not horrible and it's a good size. It is missing its lid, but I was still seeing comps. It's the 18 by 8 triclad stainless steel. I was still seeing comps around 30 to $40 okay. in this condition without a lid, so i was gonna take a chance i've done other pots in the past and kind of swore them off but <laughs> i <laughs> know solid master was kind of a bolo and i never it's the it. bins too to yeah. yeah so this so. was something that um was my I'm, I'm most excited about this and i know that's a selfish thing because <laughs> you know I, I i like to collect nintendo stuff and nintendo 64 kathy saw it you said it was what upside down yeah so it was in a picked over bin it was just kind of like this which at first glance just looks like, yeah. I'm just like grabbing it to move it to the side. And then I noticed the drawer says Nintendo 64. Yeah. And it, yeah, just hold, I think it holds 24 game cartridges. You can put your console on top of it. So I grabbed it because I know Chris loves N64 stuff. Yeah. And I, I didn't even think to look up comps. I just thought he would want it. So I grabbed it. Yeah. And he does. So. Yep. And it turns out this thing comped out is worth about as much as a Nintendo 64, like 70 on the low end, 100 on the high end, depending on condition. And it's in great, you know, it's not great condition, but it's working condition. So. And it had these little pamphlets in there too, which I kind of looked into and looks like they came from, you know, the 1080 game and the pamphlets are worth more than the game itself. So, um, this was like 10 free ship or something. Yeah. Like, like probably paper, 10, you know? 10, 12, 15 bucks for the two, <laughs> two pieces. Um, which again, I'm probably going to keep cause he has an empty box that he doesn't have this for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't have the box for it, but uh, you know, eventually that's what collectors do, you know? Well, yeah. Is why we like the bins, like finding cool, fun stuff like this. Yeah. It's even though it's not necessarily what I'd want to list or what I would choose to list if I was at a normal thrift. So I do feel a little bit more hopeful that yeah, some yeah. trips going forward will be better. But yeah, going so forward. So theoretically, we've already kind of made your money back yeah. with this alone. Yeah, Obviously, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to pay for the $80 that I've spent on all of this stuff. So yeah. Yeah. But going forward, probably in January, I don't think it's going to be a regular part of my business, the bins. Maybe like one day a month or something just for mm. funsies, but definitely not. I was trying to think of how I can make this a weekly thing, and I don't even know if I want to. Mm. Um, just more of a fun. Maybe once all the Christmas stuff kind of yeah. gets weeded out. It was still a lot of Christmas stuff yesterday. Yeah. Uh, these I got, I don't know if I was going to use them or just, it, it was worth about 8 to $10 plus shipping. It's okay. just like these little storage bags. Hanging space yeah. bags. I did find a few shoes this time, not a lot. Some Skechers. These are just a women's eight. I'll toss them in the washing machine. They'll sell for 25 or so, 25 to 30. This is just like a cheapy brand, but I mean, they were at Ross for $16. I'll probably put them up for around 10 to 15 plus shipping. Uh, they are a size 10. I don't know this brand, Andriamo. Hmm. But yeah. Just a cute little summer candle. Oh, got some kids. Just basic gray with the extra set of laces, size nine. Those are in really good shape. Probably worth around twenty or so plus ship. Did they they price shoes the same as clothing, yeah, right? Well, yeah. So it's, it's considered a dollar sixty nine a pound. So, like these are under a pound. These are probably right around a pound, so so about two dollars or so per mm. pair. Which at the thrift, I'd pay maybe up to like seven ninety nine for these. Uh, these are some towels. I do like selling this brand. These will probably go for closer to forty. Uh, they're women's eight. Uh, that's 
some Converse. These are pretty dirty, but I throw Converse in the washing machine, so some I was like, like, grabbing them. Yeah, I do feel like I don't like high tops personally, but I do feel like they sell pretty good, pretty well, pretty good. <laughs> not good at grammar. Uh, women's seven, men's five. But yeah, I mean they're not too worn down or anything. They're just dirty. Yeah. Um, the bottoms are decent. Which yeah. we do use uh, goof off to clean yeah. the sides of Converse and Vans yeah. and all that. Yeah, these ones I'll put in the wash, but it yeah, that'll a take care of them. Dirty. Yeah. I always like look at this ridge, ridgy part, and if it's like kind of like worn down, I usually pass. But these just look dirty. Mm. So those are probably worth twenty to twenty-five after I clean them up. Got some Bionic. Really good shape on those. Um, yeah, and there was other shoes I could have grabbed if I wanted to clean more, but I don't. If I can't put them in the washer, I usually pass. Mm -hmm. uh, these are Women's 6 Bionic. Those will probably go for 30 to 40. Uh, got some Merrill Tall boots. Oh. Yeah, pretty good shape. A little bit of wear on the toes, not much. These are women six and a half. The smaller sizes do take a little longer to sell, but that's okay. I think those will go for 40 to 50 or so. Okay. Uh, let me find a pair of natives. These are my kids' favorite shoes for the summer. Size 12. I feel like they have enough pairs. I was going to say I might give it, <laughs> but I think they have enough. Uh, so, yeah, those usually sell for anywhere from 15 to 25. Um, some Clarks. These... Cloth stepper flip flops. Well, I can throw these in the washing machine. Size ten, probably around twenty plus ship. Okay. So, yeah. Decent amount of shoes. Yeah. Compared to before, like I feel like we've yeah, been so I've been getting one pair. Yeah. Of Some little Nikes. I think I lucked out because both of the like hard good rotations I was there for. I just because you just stand and hope that something good gets wheeled out in front of you. Yeah. I mean, you can move, but like usually it's already all the spaces are. Tiny. Yeah. Both times the shoes rolled up right in front of me. So oh, nice. I think I looked up. And then some little baby Nike sandals. I need some to clip a rays. few strings, but those go for around 15 to 20 plus ship. These are in rough shape, but they are Tory Burch. Ooh. Um, I mean, not too terribly rough. I don't know if the camera would pick up. The leather is just... A little worn. Yeah. These were only charging $3.99 at the thrift and nobody bought them. I probably would have bought them even in this condition at $3.99. They're women's 10 so I don't know, in this condition, what they're worth, but yeah. I couldn't not get them <laughs> at the bins. So I think that was all the shoes. Oh, little baby, little baby mocks. I don't hmm. even know what brand this is. QKM, this might be like a little, I don't know, AliExpress or something. It, they feel like a nice leather though. I don't know, I'll have to look those up to see if they're worth listing on my own. Otherwise I grabbed them assuming I would put them in the Once Upon a Child bin. Oh yeah? And also these in the Once Upon a Child bin, some little baby. Although, little baby vintage shoes. I don't even know if Once Upon a Child would take them, but they do sell pretty well on the, on eBay. Like dressy ones. Just vintage baby, yeah. yeah, like. So those are in really good shape. Wow, yeah. Um, USA made. Yeah, pretty cute. All right, so that was all the shoes. I did find a bolo. I don't know, what do we consider a bolo? To me, a bolo. Something that you're on the, out, the lookout for. <laughs> to me, it's like something that has like 100% or more sell-through rate. Okay. So, that's this little <laughs> singles container. I'm trying to think of what other ones there are. There's like a Pringles one like this. That one's worth, mm. it's not that they're worth a lot. You know, this is worth about $20. It's 50, just it'll sell fast. Shipping. Yeah, so to me, that's a bolo. Just something that's gonna sell fast that people are always looking for. Kind of like a sleeper, like not everybody's gonna pick that out of the bins. Like this was in the bin that they hadn't switched out the whole yeah. way. So, um, yeah. Thrift stores aren't gonna be like marking that up, you this know? It costs like nothing, and I'm gonna sell it for close to $20. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so there's a Pringles one. I think there's a couple other random ones like that that just sell. I don't know. Uh, this I got because I was gonna put my stuff in it so I didn't have to take the card out, but I had too much stuff, so just a Disney Epcot. Epcot bag. Center. I don't know, do people would people buy a reusable bag? It still has the tags on it. From Disney, maybe. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I mean I, I have a million bags. Alright. Oh yeah, I did get Chris a little tape to try out his talk boy. The talk boy business. from last episode, yeah. Yes. So we did try a blank tape, which he thinks the microphone wasn't working, but we don't have a real tape right. to see if the like, actual sound... Yeah, I, I just want to like figure out if, if it will actually play music, yeah, or play a cassette, <laughs> I guess. 
I just grabbed these because they were new. Uh, there wasn't really any comps on eBay. I think there was like one sold. Goodwill was trying to sell these for $5.99. Um, I might keep them. We might be going to some Christmas thing that's outdoors and I might be freezing because I freeze <laughs> easily. Um, so this needs a lint roll, but it's a metal gym. Did you just <laughs> slap it? <laughs> There's like glitter all up in it. Get out of there. All right. Um, yeah, just a Molly Jim sunglass case. I've sold some Oakley ones, some Ray-Ban ones. It's in really good shape, so I think this was going for 10 to 15 plus ship, and it basically costs nothing. Okay. Uh, this might sell for $40. Really? What uh, is it? It's a little outdoor research vintage. It says what it is in here. It's dirty. Is it like a water bottle I container any yellow thing? ones listed either, so if someone really likes yellow, yeah, it says it's a water bottle parka. <laughs> okay. For camping. So a sleeping bag for your water bottle, it looks that like. someone wants to pay $40 for, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, Got to keep your water not frozen. <laughs> or frozen, I don't know. <laughs> One or the other. So, that's cool. Love finding stuff like that. And like this. Um, this remind me of... Stephanie Fusions Instagram. She sells a bunch of little plushes and loveys. Mm. Um, this is just a Target lovey, so Cloud Island brand. But loveys are the thing where if your baby loves it, you yeah. don't want them to not have it. And sometimes they either drop it or lose it. Or lose it at the airport or something. Want to back up for any reason. Yeah. So I saw a couple sold comps pre-owned around twenty dollars. So yeah, and cost next to nothing which hey that's a parenting tip if you have a young one that really attaches to something go buy two three four yes. more <laughs> keep them in the closet you know yep. for when Best they do case, lose one you just sell it when you're done with it. yeah um this i bought because it was new i've never heard of the brand bagu so you know a little crossbody bag thingy. okay um i think i can get i mean the retail was 39 but like when I typed in Bagu crossbody, I feel like I was seeing solds for higher than that. So I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. So it's worth something. <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah, and it didn't cost much. All right. I think the rest Peek is closed. So let me just quickly. Yeah, the stuff we we're keeping was just like our kids are off for break after this next coming week. So I'm like trying to find a bunch of stuff to do. Yeah. yeah. So this is just a little Shrek cookie some... cutter thing with some recipes in it. So that I thought that'd be fun. Be fun. Probably gonna do Christmas cookies anyways, but it's yep. just extra cutters. Well, this was just like a little fun game. Our son likes learning games, so yeah. Um, he'll have to teach me how to play. <laughs> he, he actually spent like an hour or so last night playing that, so I'm glad I grabbed it. And these weren't open yet, just a box of hundred color pencils. So another activity yeah. for break. Hop we love getting those kinds of supplies of the bins because, yeah. you know, the kids, then we don't have to be so like, oh, you know, make sure you, <laughs> you treat them nice because we're, <laughs> we only spent, you know, like a dollar. So I grabbed this thing and we could either keep it as a backup for our kids or sell it. It's just a little kid's lunchbox, but it doesn't, really, it doesn't honestly look used. So lunchboxes kind of get smelly and gross after a while, but yeah. this one doesn't have any scent. Yeah. So that was cool. And for the rest, um, got some men's Duluth pants, shorts. There was a couple of these, so I wouldn't have picked these up at a normal thrift, just like a couple loose threads happening. Oh, yeah. But I still think that they will sell without those flaws, probably 25 to 30. With the flaws, maybe 15 to 20. They're a men's 48, though. And they are like a nice nylon, stretchy with the belt. So maybe mm. still 20 to 25. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I love selling Duluth men's stuff. Um, Is there a way to repair that kind of stuff? I mean, I'm not asking for us to repair, but I feel like there has to be some way yeah, to. I think so. I sell stuff with these yeah. flaws sometimes. So. Like if I had a really nice pair of pants that I can get like half off and like all I had to do was like, you know, it'd be like sewing like a button on or something like that. Right. I would do that. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just curious. So, I did find quite a few things for our son to keep, which is stuff like I would buy for him anyways and pay like 10 to 15 dollars a piece. So thought that was cool. These are just some like rip curl, like the really quick dry shorts, mm -hmm. some nice Volcom shorts, uh, Nike shirt, Under Armour boys, golf shorts. 
So, you know, all these things I'm showing you that we're keeping for him probably cost less than even five bucks. Right, total. right. And it's almost like a whole new wardrobe yeah. for summer. Um, I might want to put on the child. And I did. It's funny because the other times I feel like that's all I was finding was kids' clothes. And this time yeah. I didn't find any till the very last rotation before I left. Oh. Which is when I found all those for him and then plus some stuff to add to my bin. This is just little Walmart top. Little Target pants. It's funny. I said, don't pick up the patterned ones. And then I grabbed these. <laughs> these, though, I think were just sold as this. Like, I don't think that they had an outfit. But all we'll right, see. yeah. Because I was like, oh, Once Upon a Child probably won't take them if they're... Because how much would match with this? But I feel like a gray or a black top would look good. So we'll see if they take it or not. Okay. That'll be a fun experience. There's <laughs> always exceptions to the rules, yeah. right? It's just an H&M one for my son. These are the Lewis Trading Co. men's swimming trunks, size 40, no, 3XL. So, okay. Nice. Those will probably be 25 or so. Uh, this is a brand I pretty much only pick up when I'm at the bins, just seven. Um, yeah, size 10. These are camo jean. Maybe 15 and 20 on those. These are Judy Blue shorts. So Judy Blue is a good brand to look out for. They are a size 2XL. I saw these paint splatters and at first thought it was like probably someone did that to them. Right. But, so I quickly looked them up. They did have a style code here. So I looked up the style code and it does have them. It has a, yeah, the little so sprinkles. That's how that they were meant to be. Okay. And being a 2XL, I think I can get at least $20 for yeah. them, maybe more. Judy Blue has a great sell-through rate, yeah. so... Would you consider that a bolo, Judy Blue? I am Judy Blue right now, yes. So yeah. Right now is December 2022. So <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe a year from now, maybe not. Maybe it might be a little slower because they're yeah. shorts, but yeah. um, this should go, you know, <laughs> over the next couple months for sure. Another Nike shirt for my son. Another Nike shirt for my son. You know, and like what I love about the bins, like this has a couple stains, which I might be able to get out. But if not, he'll just play outside in them. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. If he ruins them. Yeah. Go dig a hole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is. um. Cleveland? Yeah. <laughs> what was I going to say about this? Oh, Basketball. I don't know if I wanted to list this on myself. I usually don't pick up sports stuff because it's just like there's an abundance of it. And yeah. especially kids. Sizes, like, how many people are looking for their kid size medium, so probably, like, a 10-year-old or something. Yeah. Um, and that's Irving. I feel like I've heard that name, so they might not be on the right. same team anymore. I do feel like I looked up comps on this. I think it might be, like, $15. I was like, do I want to take it once upon a child? But I don't think they'll take a team that's not a Colorado team because, like, who's going to be looking for that there? So I don't know. I'll probably just list it. But, yeah, I just kind of threw that in at the end. Like, <laughs> eh, I don't know. It's at the bins. You can yeah. gamble a little bit. <laughs> this is Draper James. So this is Reese Witherspoon, I believe, this brand. I sold a dress or two of this brand. Um, never a sweatshirt, so size medium. I don't know. It's a little, it's cute little dirty. Pie. We'll wash it yeah, for sure. Wash it. Uh, speaking of washing it, this I grabbed, which I don't know if these are stains like forever or just dust from the bins. Yeah. But yeah, it's very it looks good. more like surface dust to me. Yeah, but... I thought I could. Um, but that's the brand. I feel like I've heard of other people talk about it. I've never sold it. Eloquy? Um, yeah. So, I don't know. But maybe 15 to 20 if I can clean it up. <laughs> um, what else do we get? This is men's Under Armour size XL. The only flaw I saw on this was just that the logo is starting to crack a tiny bit mostly just if i stretch it you know yeah but i this was like nicer than like a basic one because it has like venting on the sides and on the back so i thought i could get about 15 dollars for that which it probably weighs like five ounces so i thought it was you know a dollar and a 15 or so yeah uh this is ll bean it's a size extra small small although i feel like it's oversized because this looks like it would fit like an XL or so. Oversized turtleneck. Yeah, so this obviously needs washed as well. It stinks because I don't like washing sweaters. Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to wash them on cold. Most, I think these say dry clean, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Hand wash cold. I'm going to wash it in the machine cold. A very delicate cycle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's 80% uh, merino wool, 20% nylon. So good material. Yeah. And I like yellow bean, even though it's kind of basic. Well, hang dry. Yeah. And if it, and it, I lay flat dry because they always get those. Oh yeah, the hanger. And if it if it messes up, you know. Yeah. It, it was a couple a bucks, right? So. Uh, this is North Face Women's Medium. 
So it's gonna get a wash and a little bit of a lint roll. Maybe hopefully get 20 bucks or so out of that after I get off the excess there. Uh, more stuff for once upon a child, little Adidas baby. Very little. Um, this is a Target Cat and Jack. Another Target Cat and Jack. So if you are tuning in to our Ben's Miss series for the first time, part of what we're doing is adding up all the little kid stuff to take to Once Upon a Child at the end of it all. Um, and, and I'm not counting it as part of my cost of goods, even though I obviously paid way yeah. for it. I'm just taking the money I spent. So today is $83. I'll just divide by the stuff I'm listing myself. So everything this we do take free. there will be all profit. And at the end, if they give me, let's say, 100 bucks, that'll be... I made 100 bucks. Yeah, well, and you'll I'll probably, probably spend it there. <laughs> yeah. that I'm, I can sell for 20 to 30 each. So yeah. That's what I like to do. I'd rather sell a pair of shoes for 20 to 30 than a cat and jack shirt for like 10. Right. So, uh, some athleta leggings. These are a little bit of an older style, medium tall. And this is the only flaw I really saw it was just like some loose, it's not even like loose stitching. It's like some Velcro Extra. stuff on it or something. So, mm. I'm going to clip that, but. Like, it's not really coming undone on the inside, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just looks kind of funny. It's like a bad finish with the machine. So, I don't know, maybe around 20 bucks or so on those. This is Victoria's Secret new at Tag, but I don't know what it is. Like, I, I haven't typed in this style code or anything, so I'm sure I can figure it out, but I don't know if it's a nightgown. Right. It's see-through. It's pretty see-through. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I'm assuming it's a nightgown. I don't know. Or like an you, undershirt yeah, kind of thing. If you're wearing it as like an actual shirt, you definitely need like a cami under it. Yeah, I mean, it's got some lacy bottom. I, I, yeah, it might be yeah. a nighty kind of thing. Yeah, it's not definitely like not like super sexy lingerie or anything. <laughs> Just like a normal nightgown. I don't know. Some prairie nighties. <laughs> uh, this is Torrid size 6, so I always like finding Torrid. It usually sells pretty quickly for me. I think I can get at least 20 bucks for that. And this was new with Tag, but it's dirty, so I'm going to have to take off the Tag to wash it. The brand is Echo. I've never heard of this brand, but it is like a wool blend, I believe, and I thought it was... I thought it would do okay. Yeah. I think I looked up comps. It's acrylic, cotton, polyester, wool. Okay. So, I don't know, at least 30 I think I can get out of that after I take off the Tags and wash it. Uh in a minute this is the last clothing piece which is a vince cardigan i know vince retails for a lot i haven't had the best of luck with it although it could just be the wrong pieces i'm grabbing mm -hmm. i think i've done shoes the shoes don't sell well for vince but this is a yak and wool sweater so actual yak yeah 50 percent yak 50 percent wool so <laughs> and we and almost had yak the other night at the, at the tibetan, <laughs> tibetan place yeah I kind of wish you you got it. <laughs> I I, you know, I was going to be like, can I, can I try like one little right. piece of yak? Can you like throw it in with sure my chicken? <laughs> um, have you guys tried yak? We yeah. I don't think we've ever tried it, huh? I've done I have. I mean, bison, I've had buffalo, but... yeah, bison and stuff, but. Uh, this, this is just a Cabela's like shoot, like a, a rifle bag or something. Is it a rifle? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it that. looks so like I'm it has a. assuming, so. Yeah, I would assume that a soft rifle bag. Yeah. Throw with some extra pockets. Hey, we'll take it with the Benelli case. <laughs> we'll see. If... So I need to wash it. It's really dusty, but I think it's worth maybe 30, close to $30. So cool. We'll see. So, yeah, that was it. Definitely. The so, best. redemption, maybe? No. Best haul that we've had this month. <laughs> best Ben's Miss haul? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's still like, I'd, it's not the stuff I would prefer to get. Yeah. Because I love hand selecting everything, which obviously I hand selected these things out of the things I had to select from. Right. I got to say, selfishly, I'm glad you went. <laughs> I am. If that's all you brought home, I would have been happy. <laughs> so, so um, I mean, I definitely think I'll make good profit from today's haul. Yeah. Um, wish I found, I found good shoes, but I wish I found more shoes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely make some good profit. So I'm pretty happy about that. I, I think we mentioned in one of the earlier Ben's Miss videos that, you know, sometimes you get what you get and we, we threw a fit. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, that it was a good it was a good day to this day. And how long were you there? 
I don't remember. I think it was closer to three hours. Three hours. Okay. So. I think it was definitely worth it. This trip, does it make up for the other ones? Maybe not quite. <laughs> um, I don't know. We're still kind of on the fence as to whether or not we're going to pivot a little bit. We did get a lot of feedback, and it seems mostly people are okay with us pivoting. Um, so, I don't know. I like sticking to what I said. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah, this one, this one makes it a little bit easier for us to, to want to go back going. again. And um, it's just we can't – there's only, there's not 12 Saturdays in December, you know, so. And our kids are off school after this week. So, like, honestly, what is this, five, so seven more. I'd have to go, like, every day this week in order to not yeah. go while they're out of school. Not that – I mean, I could go one or two days, but yeah. I don't know. Just thinking out loud. <laughs> yeah. But that is going to do it for the fifth day of Ben's Miss. Kathy, my true love, brought home a Nintendo 64 drawer. So I'm happy and excited. Uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet to finish out the 12 days of whatever it is, I guess. <laughs> if it stays the Ben's Miss or if it kind of goes into Thrift Miss, which we wouldn't write off the Ben's for the rest of the, the days anyway if we do decide that. So thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.